हाय आई एम सुजीत सरकार सर क्या है हाय आई एम सुजीत सरकार ओके चलो हाय आई एम सुजीत सरकार डोंट यूज आई एम हाय आई एम सुजीत सरकार हाय दिस इज दीपिका पाडुकोण एंड यू आर वाचिंग अस ऑन बॉलीवुड हंगामा semi liquid motion first then two days of gas and constipation what should i do ye koi message hota hai office mein dene ke liye well deepika padukone has had many a memorable dialogue in a in a career and I, i'm sure that this is going to be adding to that as well but first of all we have with us the director uh, shuji sarkar of piku and piku herself deepika padukone who used to play have you guys on bollywood gama first of all and uh, had you ever imagined that uh, this will be one of your become one of your most memorable dialogue in a way <laughs> I hope it does. Right. You know, I hope like some of it already is. I'm sure that it people, is. Yeah. Something at this this context maybe not. Right. Of course, as an actor, you're always prepared for any kind of dialogue in any kind of situation. I'd say this dialogue is very very unique. I don't think in my career I I ever thought that I'd be talking about gas and constipation. Right. But uh, he's just added to my portfolio of <laughs> iconic dialogues, I guess. Me, it was not a dialogue for us. It was just a Statement. discussion. so it just became a dialogue i mean it was never like okay this is going to be dialogue as such no it was never it's general conversation in a house so usko dialogue no underplay everything i want to tell you but <laughs> i think one of the strongest points of the film is the dialogue when juhi chaturvedi i think is the yeah. yes juhi i think she's done a wonderful job in um, in vicky donor also and right. raskaf also and this one and it's some brilliant writing it's very exciting as an actor to be in a film like this where there's dialogue pe dialogue you know there's just I say something and then Baba says something and then Piku again says something and Baba says something else Irfan and it's well. really Irfan as well. It's so exciting as an actor while you're performing when you have these kind of uh, dialogues and most importantly so relatable and so real. It really felt like we were in our own homes having a conversation within our own family. <laughs> you seem to be ha- be having a propensity for uh, body fluids uh, and uh, <laughs> body and uh, in semi and liquid format or what what whatever it is so what is this propensity it's a, it's a unique propensity for a filmmaker the no, sperm in uh, fiki donor and now it no, is it, both in liquid it's, as it's well it's not as a deliberate attempt to that okay i am specializing on some body fluid no <laughs> <laughs> but, no when your filmography is being written and because you, you never know your next film may be some, something else related in a way no i mean if i find an insight on body fluids i will definitely uh, do it why not but when you see the film i mean you may find something uh, talking more a uh, profound i'll say which may be uh, starts from body body fluids but it goes to somewhere else in your you know looking at the life i'm not uh, specialized on body fluids any fetishes uh, yeah, no nothing jui came jui called me one night and said i've got this film with father and daughter and there is a bit of a constipation and there is a bit of a this and there is a bit of a bowel movement obviously then you when you hear first time it brings smile straight away so i said ki isme film kaise ban sakta hai so then both of us sit together and we'll say okay let's you know Let's see what we can do. And when you see the film, you'll know that how brilliantly she has blended it in the film in a very uh, what do you call narrative. Your relationship with Mr. Bachchan, uh, I think uh, it's uh, one of the most endearing relationships, maybe from from promo, if we can gather. You have been very close to your your father in real life. So how was your experience of uh, just working with Mr. Bachchan? This is. not the first time that you've yeah. played his daughter you know i said this earlier i think i valued this experience much more uh i think when i did arakshan with him i don't think i had evolved enough as a person to appreciate to learn to understand but i feel with piku uh i th- i feel it's more to do with where i uh, where i've reached in my life as a person that i've actually enjoyed this experience much much more and it helped i think having done a film one film before this and having known him personally over the years i think it really helped bring in that sort of comfort level that's required for a film like this you know the equation that piku and baba share in this film is of course you know a father and daughter relationship you know which is one of a lot of respect and a lot of uh, admiration that most daughters have you know with their fathers but it's also one of those where she also has to be friends with him she also has to nurse him and take care of him and also play the part of a, what what a mother would do for a child you know she's also Absolutely. playing that part because he's reached that stage in his life where he needs to be taken care of and he needs to be monitored all the time and i think that equation and that chemistry and that comfort i share with him today in this film because of my past experiences with him <laughs> Now, Mr. Sarga, uh, what was your uh, your your thought process like when you were just uh, 
trying to cast Deepika Padukone. Uh, she is uh, the number one actress uh, in, in Bollywood since the last two years. Right. Uh, she has had a spate of uh, successful films. At the same time, she is she is a power powerhouse performer as well. But it's she's like basically the the mainstream commercial commercial actress with all those dances and and the romances and all these things. So, what was your thought process like when you were just thinking of casting her in a role which is uh, totally different from what what she has done in the past. See, when we are doing the script, I mean, when we, the, I mean, the idea came up, and right. when when we are doing the script, we knew that this is going to be a pure uh, performance film. Right. Purely, this film will you know uh, will ride on the performance of these three characters, three, four, five were there, but predominantly these three characters, uh, Piku, Baba, and Rana. Um, so obviously, you you had to go for uh, for artists who are in top form, and all these three. Uh, all of them, Mr. Bachchan, Irfan, and Deepika. I mean, I've seen them. Whatever they were in absolutely top form at this moment. Yes, for Deepika, for example, me and Jui, when we write, some characters we already we have in our mind. Like we kept uh, Mr. Bachchan and Irfan always were there in our script when we started writing it. Yeah. We knew we want to pitch it to them, and we spoke to them also. In my mind, um, uh, Deepika was always there. In, uh, I, I always used to mention, Ajui, how about Deepika, how about Deepika, this, you know, how the look. So, because some sparks I have seen, I mean, you know, just, you, I mean, maybe not a full blend film, but you see an artist spark, you know, and you, you sense that. You cannot, I mean, I cannot explain in words, you just sense it. I think that instinct may have worked and I, we, we went and I think we, when we first day we met uh, um, and we narrated it, uh, and my point was, uh, Deepika, the way you are, that's, that is Piku. The way you are sitting now, that is Piku, rather than possibly sitting now, possibly in the house she was. I, I mean, that's what my right. point was to her. So I think that's how I think it formulated. And I thought, I think maybe she also got it. And I think she also, the way she uh, rode herself uh, with Piku in her looks, in her um, you know, appearances, in her. Uh, uh, performance in our actions. This is all uh, Piku, I think. Uh, so I think that maybe is the reason. Fabulous. Okay. And uh, how much of Bengalis will be relating to this movie? Because uh, Mr. Bachchan has spoken about it. That uh, the entire Bengali element that that he is bringing into it. I mean, there is a relatability because being it's a Bong family. She's playing Piku as a Bong. Uh, Mr. Banerjee, uh, uh, Bhaskar Banerjee and Mr. Bachchan. So there will be a bit of a bong, but I think this kind of a discussion or this kind of an environment that you will find in every family all over the world, wherever you go. So it's, it's the morning and an afternoon and the evening conversations about general family problems, getting into bowel problems, getting into eat. It's a very everyday discussion. But what we have done is in, in this film, Piku, is we have just distanced ourselves and shown the people that look what you discuss every day it is really quirky and funny <laughs> like at that moment maybe it's a very serious discussion but thoda peeche hat ke dekhenge to aapko khud hi apne morning ka jo discussion hai ghar pe wo you will feel i mean it is hilarious discussion i mean that goes into so that's what we tried into no absolutely absolutely actually my, my mother does a lot i've just sent the promo <laughs> to my brother and sister so i'm sure that a lot of people can relate to it now uh, since uh, you know we get this this feel of uh, you know i think a wonderful sense of humor as well in the in the um, yeah. in the in the promo so far uh, so actually we are having a, a simple uh, a rapid fire section as well and which we are calling as a potty rapid fire which is it's like just an all in good humor i'm sure that you guys uh, will enjoy it so let's uh, we'll, there will be a few um, observations and let's see what what your reaction to it For Deepika, first of all, that uh, if you'll have to give uh, three tips for constipation problems, uh, you're having it right uh, next to you, actually. Right next to you. Look, I have to admit on this show right. that I don't have any such problem. Okay? <laughs> These problems are his problems. So please ask him. I'm having a, a different question for him, but considering that uh, you've nursed Mr. Bachchan, so. Uh, Okay. All in good humor, actually. I'm sure that uh, you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Banana. Okay, what I personally feel <laughs> is uh, uh, drink lots of water. I think you should drink lots of water. You'll disagree with me, I know, and you'll have a lot of theories, but you can save that for later. But this is my theory, okay, right. <laughs> Mr. Sarkar. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, so, drink lots of water. I think you should eat a balanced meal. That's what I believe. 
Right. Uh, I'm not someone who personally believes in too much of uh, dieting and things like that. I believe that we should what naturally what your if you listen to your body, uh, there's a natural thing that your body accepts and and enjoys eating. Everything in moderation is fine, and I've always that's what I personally do. I think you know have a balanced meal and exercise. Exercising for constipation. Okay. Agree or disagree? No, no. So mine is completely different. So <laughs> I'm sure, but I'm adding a different question for you. In pa, Abhishek suggests to Big B in lighter vein that he should be the potty minister. Uh, if you become the potty minister, what immediate steps will you take, Mr. Sarkar? He will be a, a, a appointed the potty minister on the 8th of May as soon as this film releases. I'm telling you. Uh, don't stress. <laughs> don't stress. Don't be finicky. Don't be finicky. Finicky, but what? For anything. So I think I, I, my that's something my take on the situation is completely different. Yeah, the, there are people who are finicky, so so they may be having a lot of and uh, don't be sad. So these three things are the I main reasons for. Him. Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel it's a, I know it's a completely different take, but no, no, it's a I very think, valid. Uh, yeah. It's a very valid take. It's don't a very very valid take. Deepika, unclean toilets always makes a woman angry more than a man. Uh, why is it so? Do, do, do you agree with that? You don't agree with that. I think, I think an unclean toilet should make everyone unhappy, right? Or angry or upset. Men like, actually, they they are slightly less. They maybe are, because the they're careless. Maybe slightly, yeah. because yeah, but it's a bit technical also. I think. Right. The style is different. Ha. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Okay. Too. Good. Sorry. Correct, na? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, that also, absolutely. that also, Another also one. yes. Uh, women as personalities are way, uh, way more particular. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, for Mr. Sarkar, you are in someone's house. You go to the toilet, and after finishing your job, you realize that flush me pani nahi aa hai. So, oh God, that's really embarrassing when that happens. Yar, ab kaam bol raha hu mujhe kya kar raha hu? This is, this is like I think your, your movie has a. Uh, point as well, and I think the entire Bengali accent बहुत बहुत famous हो चुका है। Flush में पानी नहीं आ रहा। Wait करेंगे, बोलेंगे pump चलाओ और क्या? पानी का pump चलाओ। What would you do? बोलेंगे पानी का pump। बोल दूँगा मैं तो पानी नहीं आ रहा है। But you will but you'll be in the bathroom only. Obviously. You Where won't then? come out till. <laughs> no. Anyway. All right, Deepika. Name the best washroom that you've ever been to. Mine is my home. You know, it would be because I think all the things that he said, na, like you should not be stressed, you should not be. Finiker. I think <laughs> finicky. All these things is in your own home, I think. But I have to admit Jeep. that this new invention, where that seat becomes hot. Acha, acha, acha. You know. <laughs> You've not seen that new thing. No, it becomes hot. All these new hot, all these hotels now have this fancy thing. Um, ha. Where the seat in cold countries, the cold seat oh, it just, it just warms up. Okay, yes, okay, yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have not been. It's to that quite side. cool. I have not yeah. seen it yet. Uh, this is uh, so for you. Do you need the help of newspaper, magazine, etc. While in the toilet in the morning? You know, newspapers many times. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really a bad habit. Right. It's a really bad habit, but I'm trying to overcome. But it, it, it's a bad habit. The you consider that a newspaper? That reading newspapers in the in the in the. In the toilet is a really bad habit. It's a really bad habit. Bad habit. Why? I think, I think it's also a big reason for constipation. Constipation. Acha. Because you're not, you you're reading at that point and you're not focusing on what you're supposed to do. Possibly yes. Oh my goodness. You can write a book now. <laughs> Planning to you and Joey. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, me and we have done a bit of a research on this, definitely for sure. Right. You'll find that on the film also. There are many things about this. Yeah. There's much more to uh, yeah. come. A lot of uh, the theories, for, yeah. like he shared with us yeah. now, right, are in the film. Also. Explain in practical terms as well. All right. And how much? But it is not a potty film. Yeah, it is it's not. not. Yeah. A lot of lot of uh, critics have called after watching the promo that it's the. The first potty film in in, in Bollywood, and maybe we had a lot of discussions, yes, but it's still not a potty film when you see the film. Uh, Deepika, we've, we've taken a few questions from your fans, so uh, let's yeah, take please, a few. Of them. Yeah. Too many of them, but let's at least take a few of them. This is for you, um, Jimmy from Saudi Arabia. From all the movies that you've done so far, which one is your favorite so far? Would you say Piku? I can't choose one film here. Yeah. You know, the experiences are different, combined with sometimes the result of how those films do and how those films were appreciated. It's a combination of too many things. I think it's really difficult to just choose 
uh, one film it's like having five children and saying pick one but uh, will you just rate uh, piku as one of your uh, most satisfying performances as an experience yes most definitely i think i've learned a lot uh, having worked with shujit having worked with irfan and amit ji and all the other actors I, i've definitely learned a lot now i just hope that the film does well yeah this is uh, fifi from london for mr sarkar do you believe deepika padukone has put in her her all for this movie do you think that she has given it her all uh, uh, yes i think i think it's not uh, i have not been in the other films but for my this film uh, yes i mean in terms of performance uh, it's all 100% and uh, very satisfying absolutely satisfying and you've also said that uh, you had three different styles of uh, filmmaking uh, not making three different schools actually schools of she belongs to irfan. different school irfan right. in a different school mr bachchan different school like mr bachchan is a is like he wants everything from even if you move one spoon from here to there he should be rehearsed you know aware of what is he doing he does a lot of rehearsals a lot of rehearsals uh, irfan on the other hand uh, just listens to you he, he just tells me just speak you tell me whatever he just puts in his head and he will just talk to you and and at what moment he will start performing you will not know and when we land you'll not know it's so uh, it's different school and from for deepika it's also uh, uh, grasping a lot of things because deepika had to do a lot of physicality in this film so i mean it was quite uh, surprising a lot of people want to add dialogues and then deepika was saying okay i could do this scene or this dialogue just an expression not the dialogues so for a director that's a quite a delight you know if somebody says okay, okay delete the line and i will do it in an expression because most of the people want okay give me the line in fact irfan khan recently told us that uh, it was great uh, paired roman romantically paired opposite uh, deepika padukone in fact you know apparently he left a hollywood movie for doing this movie i don't maybe it's a it is it is it is fact it's a fact it's a fact yeah we had a long debate on the dates and the times i know we've been calling wow okay. So, I didn't know that. Yeah, he left. Yeah, he left the Hollywood movie. So maybe I think you know somewhere that he was getting an opportunity to to be romantically paired opposite. Uh, he was Padukone. getting to work with Shujit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just there, by the way. No, no, trust me. You have to see that interview and. उनके भावनाएं जो एकदम बिल्कुल चेहरे पे साफ आ रही है या एंड इज क्वाइट सीरियस मतलब नो आई थिंक आई कंसीडर माय सेल्फ रियली फॉर्चूनेट दैट आई गेट टू वर्क विद एक्टर्स लाइक देम यू नो एंड ही इज ही इज जस्ट अ डिलाइट टू वॉच यू नो देयर वर टाइम्स व्हेन आई एम नॉट नीडेड इन अ पर्टिकुलर शॉट और इन अ पर्टिकुलर सीन बट आई जस्ट वांट टू सिट विद सुजीत बिहाइंड द मॉनिटर एंड जस्ट वॉच हिम परफॉर्म ही इज जस्ट मक्खन Okay this is Aparna from Pune uh, for Deepika do you relate to Piku in any way Oh absolutely okay 100% mm -hmm. and I always uh, so I've always believed that with every character that that I've portrayed at least there's a little bit of myself that I leave behind with every character that I play Ji So I think Piku is a situation where I identify with most of the situations in the film uh, in terms of the lifestyle and in terms of the Uh, what she stands for what she believes in right um i identify with a lot of what piku goes through in the film so this is nanthani from singapore for you do you think uh, deepika and amit ji are the best on screen father daughter pair do you do you feel that if you have to be selfish and honest uh, no i uh, obviously i mean I, 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 i mean it will be very I, i don't know the best for but for my film piku i think they are absolutely best suited i can say i mean after you see the film you cannot think of anybody else playing those characters but they are the best in the other films or not on the pair that's very difficult to say so i think these questions are a bit generic like this something like this but i think what is more important is are these people are they going to do justice to that character that they're playing in that particular kind of film right so like he said you know amit ji and me might be right for these parts and for this film and the same pairing may not work for some other film you know so i think it it's important to understand what kind of film is being made and whether as actors we are able to pull off the characters that that are required this is uh, prasila from holland for you how did you prepare for the character of piku and was it difficult at every level every character is difficult in different forms you know some are physically very demanding you know some of them like piku for example is a film that i needed to A he and I needed to be on the same page as an right. actor and director. For me personally, it's very important for me to uh, to get along with my director at a personal level, to then be able to deliver what he's looking for on screen. And so I think for a film like this, it needed a lot of time in terms of readings, sitting with him, reading a lot, sitting with all the actors. You'll see a lot of the making, uh, you know, and a lot of the stills, whatever you see behind the scenes. You'll see all the actors sitting around a table and reading a lot. 
this is that kind of film yeah you know i feel that um uh, quickly on this key i think that i feel that always an actor needs that one magic moment when piku just gets into your body you know that magic moment and once you get that no then it's just a matter of you are saying practicing in fact uh, someone has a bolly obsession has asked a question when you offered the movie to deepika how did you know that she would be the best choice for piku i think i've already answered this in the beginning that yeah, it's that very difficult to uh, it's just a your sense of you know your guts which says no this is the right character i mean there is no logics i can prove this is uh, jannatul from bangladesh why did he choose bengali singer anupam roy for the music of mm. piku it's too soulful though it is soulful or yeah. it's too soulful it's too soulful yeah the reason began i wanted a new sound a new music obviously because the what he wrote soulful and melodies a melody this film has got a different realistic character to it right so you needed a sound which could just you can hum the song like when he came and he just strum his guitar and he just sang one song i said can i just put it like this i wanted to very organic you know on this whole right. thing right right uh, so that is why anupam he's got a he brings in a uh, i mean there's something simplicity about his pure about his singing or the words or the melody and uh, uh, Quite a few people are asking. You're doing a film with the uh, Shri Ram Raghavan? No, that's not true. Actually, you're not. Um, the only releases that I have lined up for this year, of course, Piku now uh, on the eighth of May, and then there's Tamasha and Bajirao Mastani, which will also release. Uh, Tamasha is releasing this year because that's what I. Uh, yeah, Tamasha and Bajirao me. will both. I don't know the exact date. November, he's saying that I got. Uh, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Tamasha. Yeah, I know that we finished shooting, and of course they'll. You know, it's the producers will. Bajirao decide on when. 18th December. That's what it also saying. Yeah, I know roughly end of the year is when these two films are releasing. I have not signed any film after that. And uh, so, last question to you that uh, uh, you had a tough time with 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 Shoe Bite, and now yeah. you've you've had a Vicky Donor and a, a Madras Cafe doing well at the box office. Uh, obviously, the the entire perception of the industry changes as well, and now Piku, there's a lot of good good vibes around it. Uh, are you enjoying yourself as a filmmaker now? Because Shoe Bite must have been a, I think, a frustrating experience for you. Yeah, it's quite, it's, it's quite sad actually. Right. It's disheartening. I mean, it's uh, I went through a lot of depressing times during that time. Sure. But but so, but anyway, film is my hobby. So my passion is my sports. I play football. I am a footballer first. His passion is his fa is his family, and by yeah, profession, family. he's a full time father. That's his profession, and part time and hobby is filmmaking. I would love to go with a with a bag and go to the market and buy lots of vegetables. Come love back to home. what? That's what you do. <laughs> So films he just does by the way like we go for a holiday so he comes to bombay you know makes once a, in a while makes a, makes a quick film, movie and like goes back yeah. you know juhi comes up with this brilliant ideas and what should i say chal chal film banate and that's wonderful that you have you're a team man that you actually share the credit of a, of a writer which many people wouldn't actually oh, no no she is just outstanding i mean she's just yeah. so so talented in terms and of her writing and why not writing. i mean she was with us right. all the time yeah we were very good friends very few writers yeah, do that a yeah, lot right. of writers they deliver the script and then they're gone right so thank you very much deepika and uh, mr sarkar for being on bolanga and i hope that your your hobby continues and uh, much 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 more stuff from coming from you because it's a di different sort of entertainment i'm sure that uh, new forms of uh, body i think uh, uh, things will be just coming out from you and and other stuff like madras cafe as well. absolutely so don't be you. scared challenge <laughs> yourself you would in uh, madras cafe no 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 for that i'm saying always keep challenging or kya <laughs> there was blood in that actually. yeah that's true Yeah, but you don't think I mean the industry is changing. I mean the Absolutely. cinema goes are changing. I mean they are the way the footfalls are happening in kind of films is right. so good to watch. No, no, absolutely, and people are uh, supporting that that sort of cinema much yeah. more than the conventional stuff that was considered. But that will always be there. But I think yeah. yeah, this is a new good time for us. Good, good time, time for, good time for the movies. <laughs> Thank you very much, and all the best for you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we are from Borangama. Keep on watching. Keep on watching. Hi this is Faridun Sharyar for the most interesting celebrity interviews do subscribe to Bollywood Hangama keep on watching